I've got eight powerful Chrome extensions you're gonna to wanna to install today. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna share a couple extra bonus tools that I think you'll enjoy. This tool is called Zet, and it allows you to access news articles that you typically have to pay for completely for free. So when you go ahead and create your account, it's gonna ask you to install the extension, and you can see that I have 29 credits available currently. Right now, you get 30 credits a month with Zet that are completely for free. I'm a pretty light reader, so this is really great for me. So to show you how this tool works, you can see I'm on Forbes right now, and there's this article that I wanna read, and when I click on it, you can see the paywall pop up, but then my Zet extension then prompts me and says, hey, I just hit a paywall. I can unlock it using one of my credits. So I'm just going to click on unlock the article. And now you can see that the page is going to refresh. And now I have access to the article. And you can see that my credit was used. So I have 28 credits left. And you can see all the different articles that I have read using Zet right there. So those are all my unlocked articles. This next tool is called Save Day, and it's an AI powered tool to help you capture, organize, and utilize your knowledge in a pretty unique way, which I'm gonna share with you. So when you go to the website, you can install this onto Chrome, create your account, and when you log in, your account is gonna look something like this. So you can see I already have something saved into Save Day, like I've got this website and this YouTube video. If I click on this link to the YouTube video, you can see on the right hand side, there's actually some notes, and this is where Save Day starts to become pretty unique. So let's say I'm watching this YouTube video, and there's a tool that is mentioned that I think is pretty cool. When you install Save Day, you can see that your videos now have this cute little pin now that says save this particular moment. So I'm going to click on this. Now what I can actually do is leave a save day comment on this video. So I'm going to say Styler is really cool. Need to try this out. So now when I go back to save day and I refresh the page, you can see that the video that we just left a comment on is now here. And when you go back to the video, you'll be able to see all of your comments by these little pins in the timestamp. Now, another really cool feature of Save Day is you can see that there's this little ask a question button. So I'm gonna ask a question, what are all the tools mentioned in this video? And what it does is it takes you over to this thing called the Canvas Beta. And what the Canvas is going to do is it's going to allow you to ask questions based on all of the information that's saved into your Save Day. So you can see all the tools that are mentioned in the video, but what I did notice is that it is not completely accurate. Like I never talked about this thing called Increaser. There's also some naming issues that I'm noticing, but for the most part, it's got the majority of the tools correct. When I click on the Canvas, you can also see all your different questions that you've asked the Save Day AI. Again, using Canvas, you can ask any question for the things that are saved into your bookmarks. So if I say just what tool turns blogs into podcasts, you can see that it says that the tool that turns blogs into podcasts is called Recast. And then if I go to the citations area, you can see where this is coming from. So what it did was it looked at one of the YouTube videos that I have saved in my save day. And then it looked at the transcript and found that particular mention in the video. And it provided me that resource. This next tool is called Moat, and it allows you to be able to leave audio messages instead of just comments on things like Google Docs, Google Slides, or just on your web browser. When you create your account and install the extension, if you have a Google Doc open like this, and I highlight whatever text I want, then you can see that there's this new little button called Add Hypermote. I'm gonna click on Add Hypermote, click on Record, and now I'm just gonna explain whatever I need to. So highlight some text, try highlighting this, and then click on Complete. Now I can listen to my note. And now I'm just going to explain whatever I need to. So, so it recorded my audio, but now what I'm going to do is click on insert. Now you can see that the text was highlighted and we have this new window that pops up where we can listen to the audio as well as read the transcription of whatever our note is. And it looks like you can also change the language as well. So I'm going to change this to Spanish to see what that sounds like. So what it does is it changes the language of your transcription. When you click on listen, it'll speak in whatever language you change it to. But you also still have your recording right here as well. I am highlighting and record, and now I'm just going to explain whatever I need. This next tool is called Merlin AI, and it's kind of like the Swiss army knife of AI chatbots. It says that it's your 26 in one AI assistant to research, create, and summarize information. When you go ahead and create your free account, you can see all the different types of functions that you can do with Merlin on all the page, things like chatting with AI on every website, chatting with 20 plus top AI models, getting AI responses on every Google search, chatting with specific websites, chatting with documents, etc. And there's a lot of different things. So I'm just gonna show you how Merlin works. So you can either click on the extension and it'll pull it up like this, or you can also use a short key to pull it up like this. Now, one of my favorite features is this chat with this web page. So what it's going to do is it's going to analyze the whole page for us. Once it's done processing, it'll give you a couple prompts as suggestions. But I'm just going to say, give me the 26 different tools Merlin mentions. So it's giving me those tools, but maybe I want to copy the information and I don't want it to be all capitalized. So I'm just going to say, don't capitalize everything and see what happens. 
So that's pretty useful. And I also really like that it gives me some follow up questions that I might want to ask. So it's given me a few suggestions like how does the YouTube summarizer work? Can Gmail email writer integrate with other apps? And what are the features of the documents chat? So if I click on any of these, it's just going to then answer that information by analyzing the web page. You can also see at the top that it uses a credit based system. And with the free plan, you're going to obviously get less credits. We can also press this button to be able to enable web access, or we can also change the AI model. Now, Google is starting to incorporate AI summaries into the searches, but not every search has that. As you can see, I looked up Merlin AI on Google and we don't have that Google summary that would typically be right here, but Merlin has their own AI summary and it does that for you automatically for free. You can see on the right hand side here, we have this summary of Merlin AI and explaining what it is as well as some photos. And if I want, I can even ask some follow up questions directly from here. Another thing that I use a lot with Merlin is on every YouTube video, we have this thing where we can summarize the video with Merlin. So I'm just going to click on that and then it'll tell us what are all the different points in the video. And if we click on whatever these timestamps are, it'll jump to that specific section. If you want to leave a comment, you could just click on this thing called comment key points, and then I'll just take the key point timestamps and paste it immediately into the comment section like this. This next Chrome extension is called Mail Suite, and it's an email tracker, which means that you can read receipts and as well as insights. So you can see, for example, over here, whenever you have an email that is opened, it'll say, hey, this person opened it one hour ago, or this person opened this email three hours ago. So whenever people are opening your email, you'll get notified immediately when they see it. Really cool thing about this tool is that it is completely for free and you get unlimited tracking as well as real-time desktop notifications, email alerts, and daily reports. This next tool is called Atama and it allows you to be able to automate your browser by connecting different blocks. So you can kind of think of it as a drag and drop automation builder. And I completely forgot about my favorite cursor. Okay, we can continue. So when you click on the extension, I'm just going to click on the dashboard. And now you can see it's pulled up an automation that I've created. On the left hand side, you can just drag whatever type of steps you want to put in this, this automation. But what I want this automation to do is to open a new tab and go to Google, then I'm going to have a type into the Google search my name, then I'm going to have it click the search button. And then I want it to take a screenshot of the page to see where I am on the Google ranking. When you've created your automation, you just click on the play button and then it will show you what it's going to do. So you can see it is typing. I'm not using my hands at all. It is searching my name and then it has just saved a screenshot as you can see. When I click and see the screenshot, you can see that it's taken the screenshot. This next tool is called Glasp and it's a website highlighter. Well, to show you how it works, if I highlight something like this, you can see that I have some new buttons that have come up over my highlighted section. I'm going to color this pink and you can see that now the website is pink. Now you might be thinking, okay, why do I care if something on the website is now pink? When you create your account and go to the dashboard, you can see that now all of my highlights are in here. Well, you can see that we have that red highlight that we did on the page right there. And when we click on this highlight, we have more information on the right hand side. So it has all of our highlights from this website. We can leave additional comments if we want, just like this. And when we click on open link, it'll go back to that web page and we can see all the highlights that we have on this site. This might be useful if you like to highlight a lot of things. And if you ever go back to that page, let's say I'm on Google and I click on Glasp. Now, whenever I visit that website, I always know that I have that highlighted in Glasp as well. This next tool is called Untrap and it helps you have a better YouTube experience by blocking off a lot of unnecessary things so you can fully customize how you want your YouTube homepage to look. So when I go to YouTube and I open up the extension, I can modify anything from my homepage to video items. So we can fully customize this very, very hyper detailed. We can also change the redirect of what our homepage should be. So if we want it to be a specific type of subscription page or a history page, whatever it is, we can again customize that as well. Untrap is gonna have some different suggestions that we can do to modify our YouTube experience. So things like hiding shorts, hiding playlists, hiding suggestion categories. For me, I find it really useful to hide the watched videos because I don't want YouTube recommending things that I've already seen. So I have that marked. You can also do things like hiding ads in your suggestions. Now I've got two bonus tools that I want to share with you really quick. This one is a lifetime deal on AppSumo. It's called Snooze and you can use this AI assistant to reply to emails and keep people in the loop when you're out of the office. So if you don't want a generic out of office email sent, then you can use Snooze to be able to create custom responses based on what people are emailing you when you're out of office. This tool is available on AppSumo and it comes with a 60 day money back guarantee. So you can try it out, see if you like it and if you don't return it. And then this tool is called Afori and it's a super powerful academic AI research assistant. If you want to see me try out Afori, as well as share nine other brand new AI tools, then watch this video next.